Oregon Main Street's Excellence in Downtown Revitalization Awards were created in 2010 to recognize the efforts of those who work day in and day out to revitalize Oregon's historic downtowns and traditional commercial neighborhood districts. The awards honor the many individuals, businesses, and organizations that have completed exemplary revitalization work that covers all aspects of the Main Street approach, design, economic vitality, organization, and promotion. What's particularly rewarding to see is how many individuals are giving their time, energy, and creativity to make their communities a better place. Now more than ever, it's important to celebrate our award winners. They serve as an inspiration to other communities. By their actions, they encourage others to join our network to preserve the heart and soul of communities across our state. We thank them for their efforts and congratulate all of our nominees on their achievements. For many years, the owner of Forget-Me-Nots, Bandon's local quilt shop, dreamed of remodeling her building. The building had a large retail and storage space on the ground floor with space for quilting classes on the upper floor. Over time, the business gradually began to lose revenue. Despite a loyal clientele, it became increasingly difficult to host retreats and, most of all, to deal with building maintenance. Finally, selling the building and moving the retail operation to another location seemed to be the only option. Enter North Bend's Heidi Souse, who had a track record of buying rundown buildings and rejuvenating them. Heidi's vision was to turn the vast space into a multi-use building. To accomplish the vision, the exterior and interior of the building needed work, and the roof had to be replaced. It was further complicated as FEMA restrictions required that much of the work be accomplished within 50% of the building's assessed value. Now, Forget-Me-Nots occupies one of the retail spaces on the first floor and they are seeking a new tenant for the other space. In addition, Heidi successfully lured Bandon Rain to the building which produces uniquely crafted ciders and is an ideal experiential complement to Face Rock Creamery across the street. Heidi wanted to create workforce housing on the second floor, but changed those plans because of budget limitations set by FEMA. Instead, a two-bedroom, two-bathroom luxury apartment with a complete kitchen and a laundry room was built. There was also room to create a small office space for Heidi while in Bandon. The Greater Bandon Association has been involved in this project from the outset. Upon the purchase of the building, the new owner approached GBA for assistance and support for the city's facade improvement program and in requesting from the city of Bandon a conditional use permit. While the building could meet all the zoning requirements for the retail operations, and for that matter the housing, on the second floor, cider production was not a permitted use. Cider production was essential to this experience economy business, and the Greater Bandon Association was there to support Heidi in gaining the permit. Bandon Rain in Bandon, Oregon, uh, the 642nd Street, re best readaptive building that we were um, given the honor for. And the people who are joining, yeah, it's exciting. The people who are joining us is Michelle Hoffman, and she owns Bandon some, it's been here since 2013, and she's had Forget Me Not's Quilt Shop. It's her building. She gave us a chance to do this to it. Howie has Howie uh, John, it was construction, <laughs> Jerry Donnelly construction, and he's the man that actually did the conversion. And Harv, of course, you know, and Harv uh, nominated us. And then the Gantz, Tre Trevor, and Mary, and Karen Gant, and they are the um, brainchilds and the workhorses behind Bandon Ray. This building here um, with the tap room, 
Um, what's exciting is over here, uh, I, I don't know if you can see, it's a computer, but there's a, through a door over here, there's a, uh, a production space. And so what, what we'll be doing is moving into the production space uh, this winter um, going into next year. And so we've kind of outgrown our space on our cranberry farm. So what's exciting as well, you'll be at the tap room, you'll be able to uh, not only keep tasting and drinking our ciders, you'll be able to see to the production space. Um, well, we're, we're doing well. We reduced our space down, which is what we needed to. Um, so now we revamped it, we remade it, and, and moved everything around. And um, it's looking like it's coming together really, really well. People seem to be really pleased with what we've done with the space. Um, Heidi has been very flexible in allowing me and, and Jerry to do what we need to do to fix it up. Um, so it kind of, kind of still blends with this whole area. It's all about art, if you think about it. Or so you've got the cider making their their product, the cheese factory, and then you've got me, kind of a little art community by itself. It's been a great process. I'm glad the construction's done though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm Harv Shaboti with the Greater Bend Association, and we would love to uh, thank the uh, folks at Oregon Heritage for recognizing the work of Heidi and all of the tenants here uh, in this adaptive reuse of this building. Uh, uh, this whole area with the woolen mill, the concept basically is to uh, make this an experience um, uh, economy uh, right here. Cheese factory now, we add the cidery, we'll add even more over time.